Hi everyone, welcome to this uh, Noddy Networker quick tip. In this session, we'll be working with the HPE Aruba ClearPass and HPE Aruba Airwave products. For those of you not familiar with Aruba ClearPass, uh, it's a policy manager, a AAA server if you like, and the Aruba Airwave product is a network management platform. Now, I'll be showing you how to enable and use context information from Airwave within ClearPass. And we'll see that uh, this integration provides really useful functionality for system or network operators. Before we start, here are the software versions we'll be running in the following demonstration. Note that uh, both the products are actually running as virtual machines. OK, let's uh, log into ClearPass. And let's navigate now to the real-time tracker. So this is a screen that shows all of the uh, uh, access requests coming into ClearPass. You can see them here and uh, the response that uh, ClearPass gives. Let's take a look at this top one. We can see it's uh, username Noddy1 there using a service HA802 and uh, it was an accept. If we want more information, we can simply click on it and uh, we have all the parameters that ClearPass uh, uses to make that response. Now, the one I want to sh uh, highlight here is this end host identifier, currently a MAC address, and there's some profiling, so it says that this request has come from an Apple iPad. Uh, we also just point out this device, access device name, uh, Dark7005, happens to be a wireless controller. Okay, let's uh, close that down. Now let's try and add some extra context to that uh, 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 that request. By that, we're going to navigate to the administration and the uh, external servers. And then we're going to select the endpoint context servers. And what we're going to do is add a new server to give that, uh, in, in this case, some network context to uh, clear pass. So we're going to select the server type and in this case, we're going to be using uh, Airwave, but as you can see, there's lots of other different types of servers, such as uh, MDM servers, uh, etc. Um, we're just going to give uh, the Airwave server name. And we need a username and password on that Airwave uh, server. In this case, we're going to use a, a, a read-only username and password. And that's it. It's added. So it's as simple as that. Configuration very straightforward to add Airwave as a context server into our ClearPass. Now let's go back to our access tracker screen. We'll look at the very same um, access request that we looked at initially. And OK, all the parameters are the same, but now if you notice the end host identifier, we have a new uh, option here. We have a, a click button that uh, will give us that uh, uh, network context. So if we click that, it opens up Airwave and we can instantly see uh, we get a visualization of the network uh, connectivity that that particular request uh, relates to. And that's all the way from you know, client uh, that's not one you can see there and there's his details but we can highlight the network the 802 that's the wireless network and again we can see uh, relevant information um, you know the band that's being used the radio and all the uh, stats uh, for that particular service we can go further and deeper we can look at the access point we get the number of clients on that particular access point that he's using uh, and uh, some other details we can look at the switch that that access point is connecting to and get things like cpu utilization how busy it is uh, usage and we can look at that controller there it is that dark 705 wireless controller that we mentioned before and that gives us a, a view there on how many clients are there how busy it is cpu and so forth uh, so you can see, really get a good context of uh, where that request was generated from within the network. And that's the end of this Noddy Quick Tip demonstrating how to add Airwave as a context server for ClearPass. We've shown you that it's simple to configure, easy to use, and provides powerful additional network visibility 
for the ClearPass operator. Thanks for listening to the Noddy Networker. Hope you like this session. Bye for now. Take care.